Today we're doing a rice fish. Rice, rice, baby. Here we have the Indian rice fish. I started with eight, ended up with four, and I was lucky I have one male and three females. I saw three carrying eggs. And at the moment, oh, come on, are you kidding me? And that one in the middle is carrying eggs. Stupid camera. I don't know if you can see. Mm, right there. So I'll get try to get better shots. But yeah, she's uh, carrying a bunch of eggs. And I spawned them the same way as uh, dwarf neon rainbows with a mop. I'll show you how I Add did them it. in this 20. I just took them out so I can add a bunch of plants that were dying because my light is broken, as you can see. And I took the mop out, and I'll show you uh, if we can find any eggs in the mop. Yeah, that's not a big poop. That is the spawning mop rolled up into a little container. And you can see already right there, right there, right there. We got plenty of eggs. Let's see if we can get a closer look. We got a bunch, a bunch of eggs on there. More up here. In there, the cluster up here. All right, what you could do is take the eggs, they come off pretty easy, and then drop it in the tank. And they got it falling in those shallow moss pile in the back. Another option is to take the whole mop and put it into another tank and that's what I've been doing here and you see the mop in the back this is where I do my brine shrimp and there are a bunch in there so I have two places I've been growing them out here I throw the mop in I replace the mop with another one or I take the eggs off the mop get out of the way. God damn it. and put them in here and I got a bunch going out in here. So since I have two tanks growing these things out, I don't know, I probably have about 180, 80 to 100. I'm gonna put the mop back in where the parents are. And I did see some fry in there and I plucked a few out and put them in the tank. So they might be okay, but at this point, I mean, what am I gonna do? I gotta just give them something to breed on, give them something to do. And the way I hang these in is, it make a mess. I just have a little stick going through the top and hanging over the corner and that's it but in this case I do it in the back because it's more difficult for me and I can't make my life easy. God damn it. But they seem to like it in the back and they uh they're away from the front of the glass where they're afraid of me. So let me put the parents back in. And I don't know. <laughs> Someday I'll fix the light. Uh oh. Drop my scraper in there too. They go in. Oh, they all went in. See? Empty. <laughs> Success. Alright. Last thing is feeding. I have a culture of micro worms. I have a couple going. And, you know, same old routine. You just scoop from the side, give them a little business. Even though a lot of them are taking brine shrimp already, the way the eggs hatch, it's like every day, every other day you get new batches so they don't all grow up at the same time. So at times you have ones that are twice the sizes. I have new ones coming out from the eggs and the mop just keeps, you know, providing babies every other day so it's hard to get them all up at the same at the same speed so you got to keep feeding as if there's tiny fry in there that can't take brine shrimp and the golden pearls just kind of wet your finger a little bit the lightest little tap flick it in there get a little going in the bottom and make a cloud it's been working so uh, even with the brine shrimp I add that for the little toiny guys so that's it rice rice baby Woo!